Hi everyone, and welcome back to Four Science and Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. We are going to try once again to get an atmospheric survey of Jules' atmosphere and also try to get a lander for Tylo to get to that monument. Uh, I think we are going to have to land a Kerbal there, but maybe we should land a probe first because Tylo is difficult and we should scope out the situation before we land a Kerbal. Taking a look at the contracts that we have in Mission Control, we got the Tylo Monument, we are tracking that, and so we need to find the source of the mysterious signal. It's possible that just a probe could do it, and that would be 8,000 science. And then the other thing is transmit or return an atmospheric survey from Joule. So we need to do that. We didn't spend enough time in the atmosphere on the previous one. I think we need a heat shielded probe for that. But... Will that be good enough to protect the antenna in Jewel's atmosphere? I don't know. It's an interesting thing. We're at the Jewel window, so we're going to launch both, and we'll launch both separately. So a Tylo mission and this Jewel mission. Okay, so this was our previous Jewel probe, but now we want a heat shield, so we can't just have this ant engine down here. That's a complication. What we probably want instead is... RCS thrusters. Really powerful RCS thrusters would be very convenient. So instead of these tanks, we'll go with mod propellant. Hmm. See, now. You're getting in the way, solar panel. What kind of heat shielding do these have? Not good. We. I would like to have them sticking out on little trusses, but they're not actually that good. We'll just be content with them being clipped in to stuff and firing, I guess. I don't know how much delta-v this is. Officially it's none, but it's, that's not right. There's some. But we probably don't want to rely on it for anything serious. I guess we'll just go with a uh, full size 2.5 meter rocket this time. Okay, well that's about right for this terrier stage. I don't mind that thrust weight ratio. Mainsail? Do we need a mainsail? Maybe we don't need a mainsail. Let's see, skipper. That's not enough thrust weight ratio. Maybe if we slap on some thuds alongside it. I don't know how much I should be avoiding the mainsail. We could have some extra fuel and some thuds and call it a day maybe. That's a lot of thrust to weight ratio. Alright, well, Jewel Probe 2. Now with Heat Shield. Is it good enough? Well, let's just try and get it on its way and see. Okay. And go. Alright, above the clouds. Okay, we're past the speed of sound. It's blinking some science. Uh, it's still collecting the atmosphere science from Kerbin. Okay, let's just coast. Let me dump the fairing. Oh, that ended much faster than I thought it would. Suspicious Delta V thing is suspicious. We appear to have less Delta V than I was expecting and less than what it was saying in the VAB. Well, we're not really efficient right now. But we are smacking into the surface, so that's not good. Um, wait. Oh, we are going down. Okay, let's keep going then. Well, we'll send this out there, but I'm not confident that it's got enough. So we'll probably send another one and just slap some boosters on the side. Take off the thuds and slap some boosters on the side. 
Yeah, 2090 just to transfer it and we'll have a correction and then we're... We might be able to capture it with this stage, but then we're just going to be on the mop pellet. That is not going to the maneuver node at all, is it? <laughs> Come on, get over there. Okay, I'll try the time warp. Better give me my Delta V. That's getting worse and worse. I think I should just point prograde. Well, we can't do that while time warping. The radial component is really bad when you're burning 2,000 meters per second. I mean, it's Jewel. You can get a whole lot wrong and still manage to hit it. Oh, okay. We'll leave it like that. 463, though. Let's see. Is that... That's later. This is earlier. Okay. So at a mid-course correction, we're going to pull that down. And we're ignoring Leif completely. Even though we have a heat shield and could potentially survive its atmosphere or something. It's all about Jewel this time. Well, that's outside of its atmosphere. It looks like... There's a Leif pass by. We'll leave that light. We're not going to try and get close to it or anything. Okay, that should be good for power. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We want to launch other things. Hold on. We'll pay attention to you later. We're going to try and send multiple missions to Jewel this time. So it's on its way back to the vehicle assembly building. And then something for Tylo. Let's use the trip planner. One way trip from Kerbin to Tylo. It says Tylo surface 2270. Well, I don't know about that, but um, there's low orbit and an intercept. So the whole thing they say. So this won't need the atmospheric probe. We'll uh, make it shorter. And have solar panels that we don't need to retract. And actually, not with RCS thrusters. We may need the spark engine to deal with Tylo's gravity. Yeah, it's only 0.41 thrust weight ratio at Tylo. And we haven't even put that much fuel. So we need the spark. But uh, now we don't have much Delta V. That's about enough to land. And the thrust weight ratio is okay. But we haven't put the landing legs. We'll just use these little guys. We'll actually have landing legs this time. And... Spring strength... I, I think the damper strength is what I should max. I don't really need that much spring. I'm worried about it popping up or something. Science Junior Junior is available though. Maybe I should carry that. It's a little bit cumbersome. Uh, so 0 0.05 tons. And that's 0 0.035 tons. This one's closer to 0 0.05. But... It's so, so huge. Well, we might want some extra tankage here. We'll see. That will allow for this thing to attach. Okay, that's probably better. This should be centered. Okay, it's not enough delta V though, but we've got 1.64 thrust weight ratio it claims. So let me just put some of these. Okay, that's our Tylo lander. At least the Spark has uh, some gimbal range, so that's good. Because we sure don't have much of a reaction wheel in here. No, that's the right Delta V, about. And I can deal with that thrust to weight ratio, so that's okay. Well, once I want to up the ejection force on this thing. 
Let's not have thuds, let's have a bigger body. Well, do we really need- we need more Delta V up there, really. Maybe we need a poodle stage. Again, they're not charging us. <laughs> While they are not charging us. That's a little bit better. And then... We could just mainsail it. Or we could have the skipper with boosters. I think maybe we'll just do skipper with boosters. I don't have to put separa separation motors on these, I think. Now we've got- well, now we've got way too much. <laughs> now we've got 12,277. Okay. But it looks like these two get us to orbit. The poodle gets us our transfer. Well, it looks good. Let's just go with it. Uh, this- this thrust weight ratio is bothersome, though. Okay, I think we can launch with that. Okay. Off we go. There's a default name 12 over there. I wonder what it is. Got all the mainline engines here. Got Spark, Terrier, Poodle, and Skipper. Looking good. Should be through max Q at this point. Booster set. Science blinking all the time. Environmental data and samples, huh? I guess that's from the Science Junior Junior. Well, we can transmit it if it wants to let us. It's fine by me. The samples we'd have to bring back. It's just the data. Okay, we'll try the fairings. Right, we'll try the fairings. Whoa, they went all over the place. I increased the ejection force. I was hoping you guys would, like, go away. Oh, well. Okay, poodle. And fairing. Oh, the fairing sort of goes along with that for some reason. I wonder what it took out there. It seemed like it destroyed something. Okay, we're in orbit, and the poodle stage should have enough to transfer us to Jewel. Well, there is something that's accidentally... It's default name 12 again. I thought default name 12 was on the pad. Suddenly there's a default name 12. I don't know what it is. But it's gotten ejected out of the Kerbal system. It must have gotten a flyby to somewhere. Hmm. Suspicious though, because I swear on pad 2 there was a default name 12. Okay, we'll take that. Oh yeah, our tiny little Octo-2 reaction wheel. Okay, I'm gonna try and give it a little bit of Poodle Thrust to turn. Uh, yeah, that's probably okay for the burn. No, well, that's looking better than plotted. Again, I started the burn early. Um, let's keep pointing up prograde, please. I think we could probably just go over there and when we enter Jewel SOI. Oh, the stage is done. Page Terrier. Terrier. Okay. Now we'll still capture close to Jewel instead of trying to rely on any moon, though. Tylo should do a good job of it. But it doesn't take that much to capture around Jewel, so we'll do this correction, 36 meters per second. And the soul panel is out. And let's send a backup Jewel atmospheric probe. Okay, so we'll take off the thuds, which are less efficient, and slap on some SRBs. Well, that's looking like Almost like an Ariane 64 right there. Almost. Anyway, that's uh, Ariane 6 with four boosters. But, uh, yep, let's go. Hey. Well, that's a lot of thrust weight ratio. 
must be cautious. Okay, let's hold it there. Um, I want to get rid of that fairing. Please go off properly. Please? Oh, okay. That delta V number right? Okay, maybe it's more right than not right this time. We'll use that 400. Weird, well, I've had weirder situations when coding things, so... This all seems fairly normal. <laughs> uh, how the program deals with numbers, whether it remembers numbers, when it remembers numbers, this is all pretty normal stuff. Or when it changes numbers. It's all the stuff that normally causes problems. Let's see, maybe we can... Well, they're pretty close to each other, 1A and 1B. I think we'll just go with that. Now it shows it different, but I think that's... That's a distortion. Okay, we'll take that and then make course correction it. Hopefully I can manage all these missions. We haven't done a whole lot of multi-mission management here. Okay, go. Separation, ignition. Ignition, please. <laughs> you have to ask politely. Uh-oh. Uh, it totally reset that. Did it totally reset this? Why did you do that? We had not finished the burn. Why did it reset this? It's not good. No, we're near finishing the burn. Well, we should probably just be able to go prograde and continue. Uh-oh. Our descending node is floating. Uh, stuff like this worries me. Especially since that's not our ascending or descending node with respect to anything right now. As far as I know. Is trying to do three concurrent missions too much? We'll just do a mid-course correction. That's in seven years. No, that's not the one we want. Probably that's okay. All right, that's our correction with this one. So little panels out. They'll be recharging for now. All right, to the tracking station. Okay, two of them haven't actually exited Kerbin SOI yet. Okay, put them down here. Um, let's see, let's filter out the debris. I'll have those. Doesn't have a sort function. Oh well, anyway, we see our three missions. So that one has the maneuver there. Good. This one does. They all have maneuvers in theory. Okay. But it's not going to tell us when their maneuvers are. <laughs> okay, so this focus thing focuses, but it doesn't show the actual orbit. The only orbit one that we're seeing is the most recent one. The Geo Probe 3. And so the only mid-course correction that we're seeing is Geo Probe 3's mid-course correction. We can't actually see the others. So let me just control them and get the date for them. Okay, wow, we actually started with extra time warp. Okay, so 
Let me jot down the times. It shows the encounter. But I know they have me course corrections. And it's not showing those. 249. Okay, so the first one we need to deal with is the lander. Out of EC, no! That solar panel is totally facing the sun. Well, it's not turning the other way. Wait, is it the wrong way around? But why? It should be able to turn, right? We'll have to check on the others, but anyway, let's deal with the tidal lander first. Okay. This one has full power. And look, it's it's panel is actually rotating. <laughs> mm, it seems like we've passed the node somehow, but I don't... You know, there was a potential tidal periapsis there. Okay, so once we get there, I can't create a maneuver node. <laughs> I can't create a maneuver node. Alright, fine. We'll just pay attention when we enter the SOI. Can we get that date, at least? No, it doesn't show you dates for entering SOIs. Fine, I'll get the periapsis date. Okay, let's take a look at, in theory, the atmospheric probe that is still working. Oh wait, let's actually make sure that this one is still pointing its solar panel at the sun. Okay, that's ideal in fact. If the solar panel is pointed like that, even if the sun, you know, goes that away, it, it should turn to face it in theory. Okay. Two. It's full of power. Full of power even. Okay, tracking station. Let's take a look at the problem child. There is some tiny residual turning right now. I wonder if I can actually use the RCS. It looks like I can use the RCS. No EC, but I can use the RCS apparently. We're slowly trying to turn this towards the sun. It was sort of drifting towards the sun anyway, though. Okay, there, there, there. That'll be good. Stop. Just use the reaction wheel. Oh, I can time warp. Okay. Uh, eight days. Well, we do this one next anyway. Instead of telling us when it's out of power in the warning thing, maybe they should warn us before it runs out of power so that we can do something about it. I want to... This is your last chance to save this probe kind of thing. Not that it's already dead, Jim probe. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit high up on the inclination, but we've got that, and let's make sure that the solar panel's back facing the sun, which it is not. That thing just doesn't like to turn, it seems. I overrated its ability to turn. Alright, we've got it pointed at the sun and hopefully it'll stay there, but who knows. But we can always activate the RCS to save ourselves in theory, it seems. Well, we haven't even done the mid-course correction with this one. Oh, no, not lathe. Anything but lathe. Uh, we'll fix that when we get there. So, uh, Jewel 2 will be last to, do, to arrive. The lander is first. <laughs> 